Hey there, Tiff Benson here with another fragrance review. Um, it's actually a new purchase. So the scent is called Italian Leather by Memo. So if you want to learn more about it, make sure you keep watching. If you want to hear about other perfumes and see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a big thumbs up if you like what you saw today. Leave a message down below if you have any comments or you want to say hi to me. I mean, that's fine too. <laughs> I brought it from lovely old Aiden. Gorgeous presentation. Oh my gosh. So nice. I guess this will kind of be like an unboxing, right? This is the front of the box when opened up. This comes off and this describes the notes to it. And inside is, here it is. Let me describe a little bit about it. Fragrance notes are oil of pink pepper, oil of pedigree, black currant, rose buds, rose absolute, um, clary, sage, green tomato leaf, a leather accord, benzoin, resin, musk, sandalwood, yada, 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 yada. When I first smelled this, I was testing the whole line. I wanted to smell the whole line and this one immediately stood out to me. I feel like this has a strong leather note and a crazy tomato leaf note which makes it feel like it has a vegetable vibe in its DNA. Tomato leaf note and leather note combined give it this weird sort of earthy saddle vibe it has this new car kind of smell combined with like this smoky leather vanilla and burning rubber i just had a thought i used to date a guy who rode a motorcycle when he would come home he would smell like burning rubber that kind of smells like this. <laughs> this definitely has like a sporty sort of luxury car vibe. Luxury, new, fancy car vibe. And who doesn't love a luxury, new, fancy car? I mean, really. I can't remember what I paid for it, which is why I'm looking at my receipt right now. Oh yeah, I just paid 200 and. $72 for it. No big deal. I've worn it out twice and I've gotten compliments on it. To be honest, it really does smell like a gentleman would wear it over a female, but it smells sexy as hell on me, so. It lasts a really long time, eight hours plus. You would probably like this fragrance if you like more masculine fragrances, fragrances that project really well. If you're into the leathers, Tuscan leather. I know they had another leather in the line, which I wasn't really a fan of, the African leather, and they also had Irish leather. To me, this was the best, the cream of the crop of the leathers, the cream of the vegetable crop of the leathers. I was feeling it and that's why I purchased it. So I hope you enjoyed this review of Memo's Italian Leather. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate your time here on this channel. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave comments. I love comments. And make sure to subscribe. Till next time. Here, right here. <laughs> Here, right here, is a preview of my next scent that I'll review called Siwa by Memo Paris. And wow, I mean, wow is all I'm gonna say. This is straight up my alley, totally my cup of tea. And I can't wait to review this next. So make sure you subscribe so you can watch that video.